Today I would like to present before you about August Comte and his idea of the law of three stages. The idea of law of three stages is a very important conceptual framework in the understanding of the progress of societies. And Comte as early as 1822, when he was just an apprentice with Henry the Saint Simon, he was very curious to discover that uh, how did human beings during the process of their evolution from the great apes reach to the point of civilization the way we are today and Comte wanted to find answers to this. So going further you would see that applying what he conceived as a scientific method and using the method of comparison, Comte emerged with his central conception that human progress takes place and the human progress happens because of the progress in the human mind and with this discovery he came up with this idea of the law of three stages the law of, of three stages that is societies move from one stage to another stage based on the progress of knowledge this progress of knowledge is based on the progress of the human mind and human potentials and this is based on three theoretical conditions which he called as the stages theological or fictitious the metaphysical or abstract and the scientific or positive in each of these stages Comte insisted repeatedly that the intellectual evolution is the preponderant principle of his explanation of human progress. And this was the main important significant point to the evolution of society in which you can see a parallel drawn between the evolution of society and evolution of human mind and thus what we see in Comte's work is phylogeny or the evolutionary and historical development of human society parallels ontogeny the course of development of the individual human organism So what's important in this law of three stages is to understand the simple example is what happens to us as human beings. As a child, we usually tend to believe everything that our elders tell us and we never question it. We simply go by the faith belief and trust that we have in our elders. In a span of some years, when we go to school and we start encountering and learning about the world, the universe, the histories, the geographies, the sciences, we start making sense of the world that we live in. And with the world that we live in, we slowly start knowing, for example, if in our childhood our parents told us that to the question, how did the rain happen, they would say that the gods are dancing and maybe they're pouring some water. But in school we learn about the water cycle. And this stage of our 
understanding is like a metaphysical stage. Lastly, as we grow up as adults, we simply base everything around us on observation and reasoning and explanation. And that's like the scientific stage. So talking about the law of three stages, we see that mankind too has evolved through these three stages. Each of our leading conceptions, each branch of our knowledge passes through three theoretical conditions which Kant put forth and he said that they were the theological stage, the metaphysical stage and the scientific or the positive stage. So according to Kant, the theological stage consisted of the idea that human beings searched for the causes of natural phenomena behind the empirical world. And when we say that man searched the causes of natural phenomena, human beings discovered that the cause of this natural phenomena was a superhuman force. And these superhuman forces initially were like idols, that is fetishism, gods, politism, that's many gods. And when we say many gods, it means that you had different types of gods, god of thunder, god of lightning, god of the moon, god of the sun, god of the fire, god of earth, god of water, god of everything. And ultimately it evolved into a point of time where men started thinking and thought that there was only one and that they came up with monotheism. And thus, there was a progress of knowledge, from knowledge of impersonal forces to the personal God. The social organization here was absolutism. And this stage therefore can be compared to an infantile of a human person. And in the theological stage therefore, it directly corresponds to a point in time what we talk about the ancient world, which was dominated by the military and the basic societal unit was the family. It was a close-knit, small society in which the family played a very important role. And therefore, in the theological stage, the human mind was seeking the essential nature of beings, the first and the final causes, the origin of the purpose of all effects. Everything that happened in the universe, if there was a thunder, if there was a lightning, if there was, if there was a fire, if there was anything, it had to do with the supernatural being. And thus, from this point of time, they reach to a stage of monotheism as a last stage in the theological stage. The next stage that Kant put forth was the metaphysical stage. In this stage, the natural forces were not imagined as superhuman forces, but they were grasped with abstract concepts like cause, either being, substance, etc. There was no more God, although there was, but it was conceptualized in an abstract entity. And most of the explanations were given in the form of the way nature functions. The social organization here was laws-oriented society. And this stage therefore can be compared to an adolescence of a human person. Comte then directly related this metaphysical stage to a point in time in history as the Middle Ages. During this point of time, you have the church playing a very important vital role and from which the state arose and gained social prominence. The last stage was the positive stage, according to Comte. The metaphysical stage was just ending and giving way to the final or positive stage in which explanations are based on scientific laws and are discovered through experimentation, observation and logic. And therefore in this positive stage which Combs spoke about, everything was based on rationality. If you say that there was an earthquake that took place, one would understand what is the science behind the occurrence of earthquakes. 
And thus the modern age in which we see the industrial uh, industrial revolution happening and then the emergence of industries. You have the industrial administrators and scientific moral guides that govern everything. The whole human race becomes the main social unit. And therefore in the positivistic stage, man explain natural phenomena factually. You don't try to explain it purely to God or to metaphysics, but you explain it in the terms of what can be observed, what can be proved. The social organization here is the industrial society. In this stage, the mankind reached the stage of maturity of his knowledge. As you see in this uh, particular table, you will find the three stages, the time period, the ruled, and the dominated. To conclude, for comp, each successive stage grew out of the preceding one. The constitution of a new system cannot take place before the destruction of old. Thank you.